So I have here a diagram found on the documentation page for Kubernetes node local DNS cache. What it is is a high level diagram of how this DNS caching works under the hood. So at the start here, we have our client pod, which is any pod or container running inside of our Kubernetes cluster. When it needs to make a DNS lookup, so translate a URL or some sort of address into an actual IP, what it's going to do typically is go straight to our cube DNS pod that's running in our cube system. And therefore we can actually look up that DNS record and send it back to our pod. Now, without any caching in place, we're going to have to make this lookup each and every time we want to translate a URL to an address. And if you have a lot of pods or containers running in your cluster, this can put a lot of strain on your cube DNS system and your cube DNS pods to the point that it can take a very long time for this DNS resolution to occur and get back to the client pod. So DNS caching is a solution to this problem where we have an extra layer here that sits between the client pod and the cube DNS pod where that lookup takes place. So we can see here the client pod, what it's going to do with this cache in place is it's gonna make its DNS request first to our local DNS cache. And if there is a cache miss, so let's say this is the first time we're doing this lookup, then we'll upgrade our connection to TCP, and then we'll reach out to our cube DNS service, which will translate into the cube DNS pod, where we can do this DNS lookup, come back to the cache, store this value in cache, and then go back to the client pod. So next time we make a request for us the same address, we can just quickly get a cache hit back from our local DNS cache, and we don't have to put strain in our cube DNS pod here. So for a single lookup, this might not seem like it'll save a lot of time. However, when you have a ton of requests or lookups going at the same time, this can really make an impact in your Kubernetes cluster and speed things up in general. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can quickly implement this inside of our cluster. So it's actually really straightforward to set up DNS caching in our cluster. Uh, so I'm looking at the Kubernetes documentation for the node local DNS cache, and I'll include a link to this in the description. So if we scroll down, we can see the diagram we were just looking at. And what we want to look at here in the configuration section, you see this bullet point where it gives us a link to a sample manifest. And if we click on this, we'll head over to the manifest file in GitHub. And what this file is, is it's all the resources necessary to set up and install DNS caching in our cluster. So you can see a service, service account, config map, really all these underlying details needed to facilitate this infrastructure. And what's great about it is we don't need to change anything except substitute a few values into this template. So if we look back at the instructions here, we can see, so back in the configuration section in the docs, we can see the three variables that we have to substitute. So the first of which is gonna be the service uh, cluster IP for the cube DNS service that we're listening on here. So we're gonna to need to specify that and we can have this command to extract the cluster IP of that service. And that's because our node local DNS cache is gonna be listening on this same address and intercept traffic. The second here is gonna be our cluster domain and I'll show you how we can locate this. And lastly, we're gonna specify a node local DNS address. Uh, and this can be any IP address in this range here specified for IPv4. So to get the cluster domain, I'm gonna run kubectl get config map namesake cube system. And what we're interested in is the config map for core DNS. So let's run kubectl get config map, specify core DNS, say we want output YAML, and this is in the cube system. So if we look at the config map here, we can see our cluster IP address here is cluster.local, and this is the default IP address for cube DNS and core DNS in our Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so I've pasted in the following command here, and I'll include this in the description as well. What this command is gonna do is it's going to curl that GitHub template that we just looked at, and it's gonna substitute those three values. So you can see here, there are a number of resources uh, that will be created. We can see that service account, config map, service, and also a Damien set. So this is really how we can see how things are working now. If we uh, get pods in the cube system, we should see a pod running on each one of our nodes in this node local DNS pod here. 
So this is as part of the Damien set that runs on each node in our cluster to act as a DNS caching agent. So we can actually look at the logs in here in the cube system. And we should see some logs here about adding low node local DNS rules at different ports and all the configuration options. So to, to determine that our DNS caching is actually working now, let's go ahead and first get pods in the namespace cube system. And what we want to do is we want to describe our node local pods. So kubectl describe pod node local in the cube system. And what we want to extract here is the IP address of this pod because we're going to query it for the metrics, okay? And in order to do that, I'm going to run a container called NetShoot. Uh, and you can run this container. This is a simple image that includes a lot of networking tools like curl and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this command so we can exec into this container. So now that I'm inside this NetShoot container, I'm gonna run curl, output that IP address we copied, and then we can use port 9253 slash metrics. And now we get a bunch of metrics back from our node local caching, our DNS cache. So if you scroll up, you can see different stats for this caching. And as you implement this in your own cluster and uh, traffic is now routed to the DNS cache, you will see these metrics increase over time. So we can see that our DNS caching is properly installed in our cluster. And now we've easily sped up network traffic inside because our containers don't always have to go to the cube DNS pod to get DNS lookup information, but instead can go to the pod running on that node and check the cache to see if it exists, speeding up things greatly. So I hope this short video has helped you out. If you'd like to see future videos about Kubernetes, deployments, Nest.js, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.